Hello everyone, um, just at my house today, I've just had some Amtico fitted. Uh, I just wanted to show you a couple of little things um, to show you some of the advantages of the Amtico um, and some of the things I'm going to have done. I've had the um, Cornish Oak um, signature range fitted in a herringbone design. Uh, one of the big advantages to Amtico is that you can have it fitted right to the skirting board and you don't have to have a bead in or the beading removed. Um, it's a big advantage when, when you've got uh, an older style house and you don't want to take the skirting board off or you feel that the, um, the, the bead around the edge doesn't suit the finish that you're looking for. Let me just show you some of the edges. Right, as you can see, um, it's fitted very close to the edge. I mean, there might be uh, a mil or so difference between it, um, but, but it's much, much better than a sort of normal beading finish. Now what I'm going to have done is actually I'm going to have some silicone put around the edge. Now it's not always necessary to have that um, especially in a sort of kitchen living room area. Um, some people like it because they feel it seals the edge of the floor. I quite like the finish because I always think even though the skirting boards are painted and the antique is touching them, if there's any unevenness or if there's any sort of shadow line between the two, um, it can cover it up. So I've got a, a, a mastic person coming round, um, Joey, uh, my mastic man, he, he will come round and he will put a thin bead of mastic all the way around in whatever colour suits the effect. So I'm going to have white and grey because that's the sort of look that we've got going on here. Um, as you can see. So, I will show you the finished look so, you've, so you can get an idea for it. As I say, you don't have to have the mastic, but sometimes it can really finish something off. Well done. Just showing you some, just the edges again, just to give you a proper look. And see how close we get when we cut in the Antico. Right, this is Joey, he's my mastic man. So he's just gonna just show you quickly what we do and uh, how it can look. Okay, Straightforward as that. So what that does, just gives a really crisp, nice finish along the edge, just seals the edge up. Just takes any little lumps and bumps out. Okay, I'll show you all the finished results when it's all done. Hi there everyone. Right, just got home. Um, the silicon has all been done. I think it looks fantastic. So I'm just going to show you a close view of what, the, what it can look like and how it's just finished off the Antico perfectly. Hopefully you like it. So what we did against um, the grey, we didn't really want to see it too much. We just put a clear silicon there. So you can just hardly see it, it's just a, a small shine. We don't put the silicone in front of the kitchen plinths because you need to take the plinths off. Um, and then as you can see, I've just put it, so it just joins the edge. As I say, you don't have to do this, but it looks really smart, I think, and just gives it a really tidy, neat sort of look. And then where you've got different colours, so we've got um, grey windows, so we put a grey silicone there just to finish it off. Now it is quite specialised when you're putting the coloured silicone down, that's why we get somebody in separately to do it. Um, it doesn't cost that much to have done and it can really give a, a really nice finish. I feel like it. 
and this is what the kitchen looks like. So we've got a white kitchen, grey island with this sort of Cornish oak herringbone design. We think it all looks really nice.